Yeah. Maybe we could do a group inbox or something in Facebook or something like that and get it going. Yeah, yes, sir. All yes, right, sir. all right. Well, definitely appreciate your time. I'm like Elder Mike. I know you just wanted to pop in real, yep. real quick, man. You know, like I said, man, you're always welcome on, on, on the platform, man, because we love how you conduct yourself when you was in the hot seat. So, again, you're always welcome back. The door is always open to you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you all as well. Thank you for the, the cordiality that you all showed as well. So thank you. Bless you, Brother Brian. Represent, bro. God bless, brother. <laughs> all right. We'll talk, we'll talk to you all the next time. All right. All right. Peace. All right. And um, I'm Jan. You can go ahead and stick in the background. I need you to continue to monitor this. Uh, so let's go ahead. Let's put you in the in in the back. Um, your hookah now. We got you next. Um, actually, more. You can go ahead and go now. Um, I and you can yeah, go next. You know what I'm saying? So you can go ahead and keep okay, 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 okay. So we'll just we'll just let him go next. Then all right. Then so let's just just stand by, and then I'll bring you on right after him. All right. All right. So let's get you hookah now back in. Hey, shalom, shalom. So, all right, I, I know all right. a minute, so let's make it quick. Okay, so you 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 believe in three distinct persons, right? You believe in the Trinity, uh, uh, three yes. distinct persons in one body, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so oh no, that sounds like oneness. No, uh -uh, they're three no. distinct persons. So wait, so what's the difference? So three distinct persons, right? Uh, you got the Father, you got the Son, you got the Holy Spirit. So, and each one of these are in a separate body. Mm, the Father has a form, the Holy Spirit has a form, and the Son has a form. Jesus said the Father had a form. They're no one seen. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, my, my stance is that the, the Holy Spirit and, and, and the Father God, are they're one and the same. The Father is spirit, so there's only one spirit because even... <clears throat> well, let me, let me get all that. But, well, but, you, but you're saying they're three distinct. So my question would yeah. be this. Okay, so we know... What's the father's name? There, I mean, it's uh, in the Old Testament, it's uh, Yahweh. Okay, what's the son's name? The Yahweh, all three of them are Yahweh. No, the son's name is Jesus, right? According to you, that's yeah. Well, he, yeah, he became, yeah, he's yeah, Jesus now, yes. So, what is the Holy Spirit's name? The Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit. That's not a name, I mean, Holy part of it. Part spirit just means like the breath. He is what, Yahweh. What, what is the Holy Spirit's name? I mean, you know, Testament. I guess you can call it Ruach Akadesh. No, that's that's just saying a Holy Spirit. What but is, he is the Holy Spirit? Yahweh. He is God. That's what the scriptures say. So the Holy Spirit name is Yahweh. Yes, he's God. He's God. So the okay. So you're telling me the Holy Spirit name is Yahweh. Yes. But. OK, so my question is this. Then. <clears throat> I don't I mean, I don't got time that much time. OK, so listen, Christ has a he has a throne. Right. We see in the, uh, yes. the revelations, Christ get a throne. Right. We mm -hmm. see the father has a throne. Right. Mm -hmm. We see that even the 12 disciples get a throne. Mm -hmm. Correct. Can yep. you give me chapter and verse for where's the Holy Spirit's throne at? I uh, don't talk about it because uh, mainly it's uh, mainly what it, the Holy Spirit is what the uh, points to the points to the Son and also the Scriptures. So, but He's there. But where's His throne at? I mean, it, He's God. So we see Christ has a throne. We see this in in Revelation three. We see Christ and the Father has a throne. We see that the twelve, even the twelve disciples, right? They got a throne. He mentions it in Matthew 19, if I'm not mistaken. Peter and them, they even got a throne to sit on. And you telling me the Holy Spirit, which is you saying is a distinct person from Yahuwah, doesn't have a throne to sit on? It don't talk about it because his job is to talk about the son according to John 16. Uh, but I'm not talking about his job. You're saying that these are three distinct people, right? If, if, if we're reading the scriptures and the Holy Spirit's job is to point out the son, he's not talking about his self. I'm not talking about his job. I'm saying where's his throne at? He don't everybody... talk about it. It does not talk about it. What I'm saying is if the Holy Spirit's job is to speak on the Son and on the Son only, then it okay. don't talk about okay. his I, throne. I get that. I get it. Because we, we, I got to move on for time. So let's go to Isaiah 63. So are you saying that... Uh, no. Let's read Isaiah 63, right? Because uh, I believe you think this is a trinity here, right? Uh, well, I wouldn't say, 
I wouldn't say the full trinity, but yes, there are certain things. Okay, that so show me the three in Isaiah 63, I think, uh, between verses, what is it, 11 or something? Mm -hmm. Well, we start in verse 9. It says, in all of their affliction, he was afflicted, and the angel of his presence... Uh, he saved them in present. his love and in pity and redeemed them. He lifted up them and carried them to days, but they rebelled and grieved his Holy Spirit. Notice there's the angel of the presence. We got the Holy Spirit here. And if you know the Old Testament, you go back, you see all three of them in that this chapter. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Who, mm -hmm. who you think is the angel of the presence? I think that is uh, Jesus. Okay, now do me a favor. Read Luke 119. Uh, are you talking about uh, Gabriel, right? Can you read it, please? Mm -hmm. Yep. And the angel answers, says, I'm Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God. Uh, and I will uh, sent to speak to you uh, and to bring you uh, this good news. And that's who that two is. Two minutes. Three. Actually, it doesn't Gabriel because he's separate. Angel of his presence, not Jesus. Isaiah 63, where that verse that you're pointing out, that, that, is, that is Gabriel. No, that's not ain't what it says. It says, I stand yeah. in the presence of God. In Isaiah 63, it says, angel of his presence. It's talking about the angel, the messenger of the presence of the Lord. Listen, that's what it says in Isaiah 63. Is, is Gabriel an angel? Yes, he is an angel because it okay, points him out right here. So he's an angel. Did he not just tell, uh, is it one of them? Did he not just tell Zechariah that he's the angel that's in the presence of the Most High? He stands in the present. The presence in the Old Testament means image, if you look at it. Do you have any verse that says that Jesus is the angel in God's presence? Uh, well, uh, in John 8, 58, he says, uh, let, 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 here we go, right here, we started right, it says, it says right here, it says, but you have not known him, I go start at verse 56, you, your father, Abraham rejoiced that he would see my day, he saw it, and was glad, so the Jews said to him, you're not 50 years old, and have you seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. And this is pointing back to Genesis 18, where the Lord appeared in memory. But brother, that's, that you're still not answering my question, because I said, give me a verse that shows that Jesus is in the presence of God. Now, I gave you a verse that showed you that Gabriel is the angel that's in the presence of the most high. Now, what Jesus is letting him know, yeah, he's seen Abraham, but Jesus is the word of God, according to John. Now, it said that Abraham, that the word of God, the word of God came. All right. All right. You're hooking on. That is your time. Yeah. Thanks for coming on again and sharing your time with us, man. Asking about some questions, but we got to go ahead and move on. All right. So Orthodox more, this, I'm going to bring you in. This the last then... caller, ain't it? No, 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 no. We still got some more to go. So uh... say it's, it's 11 o'clock. That's really not saying that. Okay. Okay. So how much longer do you want to go for? Well, I was going to try to go to about 11 and that was going to be it. All right. OK, so uh, let me go ahead and bring in or on the Orthodox more and then um, and then that'll be the last caller. Uh, actually, let me hold on. Let me let me ask more real quick, because we do got some other people that are standing by that haven't had a chance to come in yet. I do want to give them uh, like an opportunity. All right. So more. Uh, do you want to uh, let the other people come on or do you want to go ahead and go? Because he said he's only got to like 11. No, I've been waiting for a hot minute. I haven't come on yet. OK. All right. Well, uh, we're going to go ahead. People and going on on. Twice, so I haven't gone on yet, so I'm, I'm definitely getting some questions in. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So, uh, so as we had agreed to, Brian, uh, because he is a co-host on here. I mean, how many, how many more is on the uh, uh, wait? All right, we got after more. We got uh, oh, one of them dropped off already. Um, we had, we had, we had two more. Matt, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to get to you. I know you want to come back in, but we probably gonna be able to get to you. But we got one more after more. Uh, and then I don't, I don't know if the other person is gonna come I can, back. I can, I, I could do one more. I mean, that's fine. I mean, I'm not, you know, ain't got nothing to do, but I mean, I was just, you know, I know we said the time for uh, 11. Okay. No, nah, no worries. No, no worries. All right. So after, so after more, you want to get one more and then, and then that'll be it. Brian. 
Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right, cool. All right. All right. So now as we had agreed to, because he because Orthodox Moore is a host on here, we're gonna extend this time to ten to ten minutes. Right. But then after that, and after that, actually, oh, the other person dropped off too. <laughs> it looks yeah. like it looks like they had All dropped right, off too. All right, so let's so let, let's go ahead, let's get more in, and then we'll bring it back around to my co-host. All right. So Orthodox Moore, your time starts now. Ten minutes. All right. Grace and peace to you, brother Brian. Appreciate you for coming. What's up? On. What's up? So just like I said with Elder Mike, uh, uh, no intention of being disrespectful, but I got a lot of questions to get through. I got them written down, so I'm going to go go at them kind of quick. So it's not it's not a it's not a gotcha kind of thing. I'm trying to get you understanding. Um, kind of going along in, in in the vein that you and I was talking about. Um, in your paradigm, is Jesus the angel of the Lord and the angel of the Lord's presence? Yes or no? Yes, that is the angel. Uh, the angel of the Lord in the Old Testament is Jesus. Is Jesus also the angel of of the Lord's presence? Yes, because I mean it says it says his uh his uh angel of his presence. When you look up that word, I think it's like penny penny. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so is the angel of the Lord and the angel of the Lord's presence uh part of the Trinity in, in your paradigm? Yes, because it's God appearing and uh, appearing as different, you know, a messenger and stuff like that. So that's what angel means is a messenger. Okay, so who is the angel of the Lord that appears 12 times in the New Testament? Um, for instance, in Matthew 5, uh, the angel of the Lord speaks to Joseph um, in a dream, etc. It speaks to Mary and the Mary Magdalene um, at the at the tomb or whatnot. Uh, in Luke, um, the angel of the Lord speaks to, to Zacharias, the father of Paul, uh, the father of John, um, uh, and also speaks to, to the shepherds and announces the birth of Jesus and whatnot, right? Mm-hmm. Um, also, you, you you see him in Acts mentioned five times, um, speaking yeah. to apostles, mm -hmm. to Philip, to Peter, literally breaking people out of jail. So who is who is this uh, this character who's who's uh, called the angel of the Lord, but is also what? present, who is also present, announcing the birth of Jesus during the like mm -hmm. during his birth and also announcing to Mary Magdalene and Mary that he's not at the tomb. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, I think one of them says it's Gabriel, and he tell he says he stands in the present thing. Uh, I think the there are some. Uh, I think you talking about in Luke, and actually it tells you, and actually they actually are their messengers pointing to Christ's birth, and uh, w one of the angels helps out uh Peter out of jail. But I mean, them are angels. I mean, they're angels in the Old Testament. But the angel of the God, even the even some of the sages and scribes would say that that is God appearing as what they call a theophany or uh, I forget. There's another word for it, but we see that all through that. There is no doubt that's God in the Old Testament. So I'm talking about the New Testament. So who is this character? Like, so, OK, so if Jesus is the angel of the Lord, then I should not be seeing Jesus during the time that Jesus is walking the face of the earth. Does that make, does that make sense? No. That's a that's a different angel. I mean, same way. I mean, like I said, it tells you which ones they are. They have a specific job to do. Okay, so in that same vein, um, so uh, we were uh, I was hearing you talk about Gabriel in, in Luke one nineteen, where Gabriel says mm -hmm. that he's the angel of God's presence, right? Um, he stands in the presence of God, is what it says. Okay, got you. Like so, you you mentioned um, John uh, eight in uh, eight fifty eight. Um, mm -hmm. And the, the famous uh, before Abraham was I am saying, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Like, like yeah. connecting, connecting that back to uh, the, the angel of, of, of the Lord uh, who's speaking from the from from the from the from the bush. Right. In Exodus. Right. Well, actually, it's Genesis 18 and also Genesis 15 when God God appears to Abraham. And Genesis 18 is clear. It says the Lord appeared to Ab uh, to Abraham in memory. Right. But just just previously, when you're talking to Huguenot, you, you were talking about the, the burning bush, were you not? I mean, you can point to that because it talks about angel in the in the bush. But he, but okay, so either or so from for the burning bush into the two two uh, verses in Genesis you just pointed to, right? Those are mm -hmm. Jesus specifically citing that, that in your in your paradigm that he is he's claiming connection to that particular angel, right? So just yes, that's what vein, yes yes uh, yes in, yes. In, that, in that same vein, is there any verse in, in the New Testament where Jesus is is making any kind of claim to being uh, the angel of of the Lord's presence in in uh, in Isaiah 63, because again, you can see where it would be kind of confusing if I got Luke 119 and nothing else to clarify. Does that make sense? 
Yeah, I mean, like I say, Luke one nineteen plainly says he calls himself uh, Gabriel, and he said stands in the presence of God. Yes, right. So is there a verse where where Jesus is making a claim uh, from the New Testament, linking himself to to the 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 angel of of the Lord's presence in Isaiah sixty three? Mm, no, but you could, like I said, you could see you could see patterns in the Old Testament where we see. Uh, different, like the angel of the Lord. We see the, uh, you know, the, you know, the, the Father, the Holy Spirit. We see all them things in the Old Testament. Okay. Um, just to clarify, what prophet teaches your perspective and your doctrine of the Trinity? Mm. And what is your doctrine? Your doctrine of the Trinity. You believe that it's it's the co-equal, uh, co-substantial, co-eternal council, correct? Yes, I, I believe that. Uh, that uh, I mean, well, I mean, we just have to. When we read the scriptures, we see God appearing in different places, and also, like uh, a perfect example, when we go to Exodus. Uh, let me. I'm trying to get this thing to where Exodus 24. Mm -hmm. When we look at it carefully, uh, and he tells Moses. Uh, uh, he says, uh, it says, the Lord says to Moses, come up to the mountain. Let's see. Wait a minute. Let me find that verse. Uh, Let me just make it real clear. Like, so is, is it your position that there's no prophet that actually gives a clear top to bottom breakdown of what the Trinity is? No, he's not going to give uh, the, they write the scriptures and then, uh, we okay. read it and we see God appearing in different places in the Old Testament and not actually being like, I mean, there's one in Exodus, 20, uh, Exodus 24 that talks about uh, obeying, uh, obeying his angel. Uh, uh, and he says he won't, uh, he will not, uh, you know, forgive their sins. So, mm -hmm. and he talks about obeying that voice. I'm trying to see. I got you. So in, in your paradigm, does the Shema from Deuteronomy 6 and 4 point to any kind of foundational aspect of the Trinity for you? I, I, it does, because, I mean, we see uh, we see uh, in Deuteronomy uh, 6, 4, it talks about, uh, you know, basically all it's saying is, is uh, uh, hear, O Israel, the Lord, our God, the Lord is one. And that word one means unity. The hut, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, are there any verses that you know of that limit um, the 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 Yahweh and the Elohim in in the in the Deuteronomy six four that limit them to being three entities? No, uh, no, because it, it, you know, like I say, you know, we we it's one God. He appears in three separate persons. But okay, so you, so just so I'm clear, so there's no prophet that breaks that down, and there's there, there's no verse that you can point to that, that you're saying right now that actually limits limits Elohim and Yahweh to three entities. Is that correct? Uh, two minutes. Two minutes. I mean, we just see the, the the Trinity; it appears that way. I mean, that's that we see the Holy Spirit, we see the Word, the Angel of the Lord, or the Son. All of them appear that way. Okay, so what is the single best example you can give me of the Trinity being represented in in uh, in functionality and manifest in the Old Testament? In the Old Testament, yes, uh, uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, what's what's the best example of the Trinity being manifest in, in the Old Testament, right? Where I can look at all three entities and or or. Even the, the even the best you got, like even the Isaiah sixty three concept, you were talking about, like you can see aspects of. It. Is there something better than Isaiah sixty three? Is Isaiah sixty three the best you got, or, or no? Let's start with uh, Isaiah forty eight sixteen. We'll start there because I think this is clear. It says, "Draw me near, draw near to me. Hear this from the beginning. I have not spoken in secret from the time it came to be. I have seen there, and now the Lord God has sent me." And his spirit, thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am your God who teaches you to profit and leads you the way. Notice, it says, mm -hmm. and now the Lord God has sent me. 
right. and so his spirit, real quick. Like, thus I got, I got, saith I got, the Lord. Just like uh, less than a minute left. So, um, so does that verse show co-equality in in, uh, in in your understanding? Yes or no? Just real quick. Yes, because I mean, there. Okay. No, 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 that's cool. I'll, I'll, I'll take. I'll take a yes. Um, so, without a verse to specifically limit the 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 plurality of God to three. How do you know it's not four? Because like in Zechariah six and five, it talks about there being four, four uh, spirits that, uh, of heaven and whatnot, right? And so the if script, they, the, hold on, hold on, real the quick, scriptures are our final hold on, authority. Hold on, hold on, real quick. I'm not done asking the question. So if if you can't define that or definitively show that that Jesus is the angel of, of the Lord's presence, and you, and you just said that the angel of the Lord's presence is part of the Trinity, um, how how do, how do I not know that the Trinity is a quadrant? Because I can see four spirits the mentioned. The scriptures Zechariah, don't. The scriptures I, I can don't see the angel that. of the Lord being mentioned, being mentioned four times in uh, in in, uh, in Genesis sixteen. I can see all kind of things that look like that 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 quadrinity concept. So how do how do you how do you how do you limit it to just three and not make expand it out to like four or seven or something? Because like it's that. it's how the scriptures present it. I'm about to bring myself back in. <laughs> okay, so uh, 